Hello everybody, Flick here, it's time for yet another Let's Look At, and today we are taking a look at Last Inua. This is a game by Glowforth and published by Wire Productions. It's a platformer adventure game with a, a very nice visual style that we'll see as we get into the game. And a touching story about a father and a son. The son has a gift and must use his gift to get rid of an evil force and his father is there for protection. They both have different advantages and disadvantages and you can control them both. I do have a game in progress. I actually started this game before a little Christmas break I took, so I don't really remember where I left off. We're going into a new game anyway, so I don't spoil some of the later puzzles. Oh, and I called it Ian, that's convenient, so we'll just call the new one. Like, by the way, is this Comic Sans? I, d I don't know if this is Comic Sans, but I don't like this font. It's a very minor thing to complain about, incidentally. So we'll get the introduction here that will set up the story. There's no actual voice acting, per se, from this voice anyway. The father and the son do kind of speak. Anyway, a cold dark place in the north. Here wise men speak. We don't believe, we fear. This is the story of father and son. Father attack I can't pronounce that word, and his son Hiko on his rite of passage. While they rest from their quest in a cave, an ancient destroyer is making its way That was the end of that sentence apparently. Fair enough. And we shall get started here. I believe I have to click the fire, haven't I? Yes. I have to click it a lot, so if you hear my mouse I apologise. These are our two characters. Also, that fire noise is really, really loud. I'm going to have to keep pressing it for a while. Apologies. Wow, yeah, that is way too loud. Calm down, game. Come on. Hang on. Bear with me. I'm going to have to turn that game down. It is way too loud now that it's gone into the fire. Hang on. If I do that, that's more like it. Also, the fire is going out. Get back in the game. There. Did I lose? Oh, there we go, it was supposed to happen. That's more like it, volume wise. Apologies if that got really loud. I, I didn't expect the fire to be so much louder. But anyway, now we're playing as the father, I believe, and Hiko has vanished. So we need to find him. Yes, such darkness, my son is lost. So now we are into the game. And you will get to see the fantastic visual style. So I'm using WASD. Can I just click as well? No, you do have to use WASD. So this is the speed of the father. The father is a bit more lumbering than the son, but he's also stronger. And that will come into play once we get into some of the puzzles. And I can jump with space bars, it's telling me now, as well. And we are going to get some basic puzzles, although I might screw them up a little bit. He goes somewhere, keep running. So he doesn't really say anything beyond shouting his son's name, and the son shouts the father's name. That's, that's all as far as actual voice acting, for the most part. So we've got a glowing light here. You seek the chosen one. I will guide you. So now we have to follow this. And we will do. Through to the next area and then we'll get introduced to the start of the basic puzzles. Once you have both the father and the son, that's when the puzzles get a bit more challenging. It's also a very common, at least in indie games, mechanic where you have multiple characters to control through puzzles. Yeah, I love the visual style. It actually, it feels cold looking at this. And I say that even though there's snow falling outside, actually, as I'm recording this. So they've done a good effort with that. Let's push on with to find our son. So cold, I have to find him. What's that tell me about in the bottom corner now? Oh, it's just telling me I can jump. Because there's actually a fatal bit there. Checkpoint system in the game seems to work pretty well. Oh, that was very nearly. <laughs> You can also freeze, and that's what fires are for. I think they might act as checkpoints, I'm not sure. Well, that fire is much more silent than the, the one in the intro. Wait, this is obviously too far for us to do it. So the glowing ball will provide us with a means by which to make it across the gap. Like so, easy enough. Although eventually we don't have this guiding us and we have to instead Yep, make the path. Rely on Hiko's powers. 
to kind of get through things that are impassable. You're not going to... Oh, wait, that's all the jump I'm going to get. So... Very nearly again. Maybe you'd find him faster if you stopped stopping to shout his name. Just throwing that out there. Freezing again, but thankfully there's a bunch of fires here. So there we go, we're warming up. I assume you there is a lost state if you just get too cold. I've never had it happen, though. And up here should be the cave where we will get another little cutscene and we'll find our son. That looks like a narwhal in the background. In fact, it probably is, you know. Narwhal, bear, and crow? Kiko, I'm almost there. Be alive. Let's head in there and have a look. Do I have to click on something? Oh, I did. My bad. <laughs> Welcome, name. We were expecting you. Our world is under attack. We guard everything that is sacred. Tonrar cannot enter here. We are united by the keepers. We are now under attack by Tonrar. Your son Hiko has a gift. A gift so strong his body is collapsing. Tonrar fears him, but the keepers need him. Bring him to the keeper of the sky. I'm not pronouncing these spiritual names. I would do terrible at him at it. Bring him to Sauce, well I can say that one, Keeper of the Grounds. Bring him to Namurtak, Keeper of the Water. Only if Hiku visits all Keepers can our world survive. So this is setting up our goal for the game. And as with mo puz most puzzle games, I don't want to solve too many things on camera. However, we will play on a little bit to show you the various abilities of the two characters we have here. Avoid some obstacles. The game is available on Steam. At the time of me recording this, it's available at 25% off for the duration of the Steam sale. I'm not sure if this video will go up in time for that still to be the case. However, its normal price is £5.99. So it's around about the the ideal pricing I find for most indie games that I cover in this series. In terms of value. The gods saved him. And now we're controlling him, incidentally. Now he must save them. So I think it just wants us to control him so far. The, the character you're not playing as will follow behind. These are actually enemies incidentally. I didn't realise that at first, but if you touch them you die. So we just want them to run away. They're a little bit scared of Hiko. So yeah, if we're not playing as him, the father would follow behind. So if we press shift we can change characters. And we can use the fa fa father's, that's the word I'm looking for, ability to punch. And he can break the ice. So if we try to do that with Hiko, he doesn't have the, the power to do so. He's not strong enough. So we'll get the father here and break this to break through. There's some more of those skeletons. I believe we need to play as Hiko to make them run away. Maybe not, actually. So I did accidentally find a collectible by kind of launching myself over the far side here however I believe you're supposed to go down here and I actually got myself stuck in an unwinnable condition by doing this as well I got them separated by a wall that only the father could break so I had to restart but there we go so we don't want you waiting down there ideally I will put you up there whoop let's punch this I punch your problems and now we'll just carry on Oh, and that music means we're actually being pursued by, I believe it's just a Yeti, in fact. So, very quickly, Hiko. Yeah, he's, he's slow. We should be fine. Hmm, maybe. Oh, get up there faster. There's no danger of him catching me, but it's whether he catches Hiko. I like the sinister music that plays when you're getting chased as well. Once we get to these, like, doorways in the ice, that's the end of the given area, and I assume we're... A checkpoint is saved as well. So that's us made it through the first area. I guess we'll play through two or three areas total. And that'll do it. I don't know how long the full game is. You would need to check out Steam reviews for that of people who finished the whole thing. 
Ghosts and ghouls have been unleashed. It's the work of Tonrar, the evil beast. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Hiko's weak, his body frail, but his mind is young and tough as a whale. Has he been rhyming the whole time and I just didn't notice? Hiko knows what father fears. The fab fabric of the universe is elastic. Well, that didn't rhyme. Teleflying is fantastic, that did. So Hiko's ability, that's what it's called, I actually forgot the name of it, is Teleflying. Which we see here, I believe. Are you coming? Yeah, there you are. Did you notice when like lightning strikes and whatnot, there's weird stuff in the background? I like that a lot. Step into the light, Hiko, for Teleflight. Like so. So that lets him get to places he would otherwise not be able to reach because he's shorter than his father. You still gonna follow? Yep, yeah you are. And this is another one of the father's abilities. He can climb up like this. Now how do we get the sun up here? Because he can't fly. There must be a... or climb rather. There must be a teleport. Ah, there was. Drop it. There we go. Whee! You see that face again? I love that. So I believe he could, yeah, he can just teleport through all this so he doesn't need to worry. But then the father has to get through. Yeah, there was Tonrar in the background there. Oh wait, no, 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 I didn't want to go there. I want to just go there, go there, then just drop out. There we are. Yeah, so the father needs to get past these tar pits or whatever they are without that touching him because they will kill him. I'm going to wait until this fires out again. Then it's the longest possible time before it will do it again. There we are. So we're, we're catching up. Go. Oh. There we are. See, so yeah, as I was, well, I kind of offhandedly mentioned earlier, there is collectibles hidden within the stages. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Sounds like he's shouting Osan actually, which is Japanese for father. But anyway, let's push on. We'll do the puzzle in kind of like this area and I guess that'll probably be enough. By now you've already decided whether a platformer in this style is to your liking or not, I would imagine. You get to punch a lot of ice, however we obviously can't do that now because that block fell. So we need to work out how to get down there with our father so that he can catch up with us. So we'll climb up here for a start and see where we can get to. And we'll get introduced to more enemies I believe too. Oh well there's one right smack dab there. So we climb up here, I believe there's a Yeti up there. There is, he hasn't seen us yet though. Oh, he has now. So what we're going to do is jump over here and he should just fall to his death. Yep, he did. I got an achievement for that when I was playing off camera. Now, does this land on him? It does not. Okay, well, we're not going that way just yet. We're going this way. Let's see where this leads. Up and over is ideally what we're aiming for here. I think that might be a checkpoint. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, that's what the collectibles look like. So that's all we came up here for. Oop, that was very nearly. But we don't want really to keep going this way, we want to go down and help free our son. Oh, I didn't actually realise there was falling damage, you know. Now I know! So yeah, we're not back very far. Oh, but we have to get this guy killed again. That's fine. So yeah, as it turns out, there's falling damage. Maybe I shouldn't go that way then. Right, let's get past him by going... Whoop. Chill out, Mr. Bietty Man. Oh, that breaks. Ooh. Well, that put us where we need to be and actually triggered another Yeti that's going after Hiko. So we now need to hurry, although I might have accidentally got us trapped in a pincer attack. Oh, this is taking a lot more. There we are. Let's go, we're getting chased. It's playing that sinister music again. And assuming I make it, this will finish this area, this puzzle. 
yep, we made it. So this has been Last Inua. I assume it's short for Inuit, but I'm not entirely sure. By Glowforth. Available on Steam now for either 25% off, depending on when you see this, or full price, £5.99. It's a very interesting platformer with a nice premise. I love the art style. I love that it makes it seem cold. I like that a lot. And the characters seem cute enough. And if you want a nice story about a father and a son on their journey, there is other games of a similar ilk. Two Brothers, Springs to Mind, etc. This might be another game in that ilk that you're... that rather you would be interested in, I suppose. But as we get to the bonfire here, I will once again say thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like if you want to show your support to either me and or the developer. There will be more gaming stuff to come. My name has been Flick, and I shall see you next time. Ta-ta for now.